guys, my name is Zediag and welcome back to another episode of Lumber Tycoon where I'm currently in my kitchen and yes I've kind of built, well kind of blueprinted where I want all my services to be now there's no progress really happened much in my kitchen because this is something I'm really excited I want to show you guys and we're going to look out there now is this building right in front of me here Oh my god, hold on guys, hold on, we're gonna keep going to the top, to the top, to my balcony, which I kind of actually don't like the design no more of this, let me know what you guys think, does it look good with this kind of castle wall around it, I don't know, I don't know, but, ba ba bam, what is that you ask, you can probably tell by the title of the video, I built my store, well I've almost built my store, we're gonna try and finish it, and when I say by finish it, like build all these shelves and stuff, and then put some items in for sale, it's going to be a huge challenge. So as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video and the series, make sure you hit that like button down below. Now, I've been having a lot of help from you guys recently over the past few days while coming on. So many of you have helped me get loads of wood, uh, organized all of my stuff. You can see my base is looking, it's still messy. But it's less messy, so I'll give you the grand tour. Hold on. I should have set this all up before we um, kicked it all off. Now, I've, I've kind of built all the structure, as you can see here, and some glass windows. And there's a lot of blueprints inside, so where I want the shelves, where we're going to put all the items. So, this door here is going to be the main entrance for anybody who wants to come and buy anything from me. So, if you see me on the public server, you want to buy something off me, here's the entrance. If it's closed, you got to knock the door. Go knock, knock, and I'll come and open it. We open the door, it's got a nice little uh, little stairway entrance there with some ramps on the side, it looks really good. And we come in, and this is my store. We've got glass windows, the majority of the way around here. We've got shelving, which we need to build, which I want to do today. We've got the floor, I like how it's elevated, the shop is elevated just a little bit up. Now we've got stairs here, and I'm using these stairs here to be a stand for all the axes that are currently not in boxes. I'm going to rest them on there, a nice little design. I'm hoping it's going to work. So we've got all the kind of, um, as you can see now, the shelves and stuff. Got some wood here and some more shelves here. And this is my favorite part. This bit here is the counter. So very much like how if you go to Wood R Us and you got, for, um, what's his name now? I'm about to call him Frank then. He's not called Frank. What's he called? Is it Tom? <laughs> I think it's called Tom. Uh, he's standing behind his counter. And obviously you get the items here and you pay for it here. My nice little... Um, Kind of set up for the counter. And then here, this room here, is going to be a very, very small stock room. So when I run out of items, or if I've got a shelf that's filled up too much with one item, they're going to bring it back here, building some more shelves. Eventually, I'll get them set up where I can store items. And then this is the staff door for me to go and work and kind of um, come in and out of my base. And got a nice little side run there. So the store looks amazing. It's going to be a great addition uh, to the base. So let's go back up in here now. Um, so what I need to do then is get a load of wood. I've got some here and there's a big pile of outside and there's even more over there. And actually start building some of these shelves. Now I'm thinking we're going to start with the shelves anyway. So let's get this piece. You oh, you fit straight away. Oh, this piece is big enough. I kind of I was worrying a little bit that these pieces wouldn't be big enough, but they are perfect size. So also, guys, what do you think about the contrast in wood colors? We got the... Oh, that one don't fit. Okay. Okay, um, do we have any small... No, I'm going to keep this one here. I just want the big pieces. So what do you think with the contrasting wood colours? I've got oak and... Um, oak and the other one. I forgot what the other one is. Is it spruce or something like that? I'm not too sure. I'm not really good with my wood names. Um, is this page big enough? You damn fool. 82. Okay, that's 82. There's a nice little skinny piece here. We'll place this one in. Ba bam! We'll throw this one up. Throw it out up. 57. And then this one. Place it in. Sweet. So there's some of the shelves then. How cool does that look? I've been thinking as well, do I place a shelf across the window? And the only reason I'm thinking of that is because when you go to like normal shops, they have stuff in the window, which you can do some window shopping. It's kind of why it's called window shopping. Saniac, you damn fool. Um, so, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. That looks like a big, nice, chunky piece. That's 80%. Wait, that one should be perfect then. Bam! Right, we need some more wood. 
We'll build that row of shelves there and we'll try and stick some items on and see how cool it looks. Right, so we're getting on out, picking up the word, bringing the word in. Yeah. So already guys, what do you think of the design of my shop? Before it's even finished, let me know in the comments down below how cool is it slightly looking. I think it looks really, really good. Now, I've been doing this for the past week now, while building this um, kind of on my own time. And again, this is kind of the thing which I asked you guys before. Do you like to see me do stuff on camera or off camera? And I've kind of mixed it up a little bit today. I've built the whole structure of this store off camera. And I'm building the shelves and stuff to put in on camera. So is that a nice balance? Is that something you want to see? Or did you guys want to see me build the shop? If so, don't worry. There's still other stuff that I want to build. I got so many ideas that we're going to be building. It's going to be crazy. Right. Bring the wood up. Where are we now? We're going to bring it down there. Get that one. Oh, no. It's only 92%. You damn fools. Right. Jump over. And... Looking for a nice chunky piece. That one should be big enough. But then again, I thought so was the other one. And it turned out not to be big enough. You lies. You goddamn lies. That one was big enough. So what was wrong with the other one? Damn it. Right, pick you up and run with you. <laughs> so I haven't not... Again, guys, I'm not too sure how or what I'm going to be placing on the walls. Well, I, I kind of know roughly. I want all the axes that are not, not in boxes on these staircases here. Which I've kind of... Well, I say I've kind of found a cool way to do it. I've, um, it, it's, it's kind of cool how you just rest them on there. And then, like, in the gaps here, uh, maybe here, here, and here down below, when you go into, like a, like, like, a supermarket, and, like, you see all, like, the boxes of beers or the boxes of, like, um, cans of Coke and stuff like that, they always stack them up on the end of an aisle. And I feel like that's what you're going to do with the boxes. It's going to look really cool. It's going to be so cool when we get it done. Right, I need one more small piece of wood, which... This pace is perfect. Right, let's run with it. Run with it. Jump over. Sweet stuff. Bam! Oh, yeah. We got two sides of shelves in. Okay, so what should we place on the one side of the shelf? Maybe these fire bo um, boxes here, which these are fire axes. You open the box, and then it give, gives you a fire axe box. And then, you obviously, you open up the fi fire axe box and get the fire axe. Right, can I turn... Are these going to be the right size? Right, let's see. Oh, they're too... They're a little bit too chunky to go onto the bottom shelf. But... Now, the big butt is... Place it... There. Is that perfectly on? It could do with going on a little bit more. Easy now. There we go. Now, you may be thinking, Cynic, that's touching the top there. Don't worry, because I want to do another layer of wall ab above it. So the shop kind of has a high ceiling. So it, it is going to be taller than this. It's just, you know, takes so long to build something as awesome as this. Right, let's get the next one in. I kind of want to see what a row of it looks like. Is it going to look cool? Of course it's going to look cool. It's Cynic space, goddammit. Right, now I know this is going to take some time. So... We'll be right back shortly after these messages. That's what you, you kind of say when you go to an ad break. <laughs> Joking. Um, right, I'll come back then when I've got all of this stuff on here. Easy now. Easy. Easy. Damn it. <laughs> okay, so it's now getting super dark. When I say super dark, I think it's nearly morning as well. Yeah, it's not getting dark. It's getting slightly lighter. But I got all the um, fire... Um, bugs gear things on the top shelf and I thought I'd put the little heads as well on the second shelf. Now I've got a few heads that are open I'm not too sure if to put them on the shelf as well or put them on like the counter or over this side I've also got a ton of presents um, which those boxes with those heads come in which I want to like maybe place on this shelf because again I think the presents are too small to go on the um, bottom shelf. But what I want to do now is place in some wood and actually build some of these staircases and get some of the um, actual axes in place. Because it's a really nice design when you see what I've got in store and planned for this staircase. So what's that? That's only 30%. Damn it man! This is going to take a lot of wood. Wait. You see me pick that up right? Where's that gone? My wood just disappeared. How dare you game? Now I've only got one big piece. 
<laughs> I cry every time. Right, bam. Oh, we built one straight away. So age, mate. Right, should we take like this plank here? Just because. All right, let's get it up. How much is that? That is 82%. Right, let's run with it. Hut, hut, hut. Right, that should be enough. Nice. Nice. Right, I'm going to build the other two staircases now. And then we're placing some um, axes on it then. So I'm not actually sure what axe I'm going to put on that section first. Um, I want to put some... Well, the axes on the end, they have to have boxes. What I mean by that is they have to have... I'm, I'm going to need to have a huge majority of the boxes with it. So it's either going to be the um, Alpha Axe, the Beta Axe, or the Fire Axe. Just so I can put some axes on the stairs there and then build like a... Um, like a mountain of boxes on the side. Very much like what you see like in like a normal supermarket or something like that. Uh, it's going to be cool. It's becoming daytime as well. Here we go. Right, this should be the final piece. Nice. And then one last one to build. Which I'll take... No, I won't take those small pieces. I'll use those for like... Um, well, that's a nice big bit. I can use those bits for like the small bits of um, shelving that I've got um, inside. Just around the corner of the counter as well. Shall we get those shed up? That is a 95. Damn. We just need a little piece now. Just a little tiny piece. Little baby piece. Uh, we'll take this. No. We'll take this. That's a big piece. No. Is that going to be 5% though? That's the question. I bet you this is going to be like 4%. Then <laughs> they're going to find another piece. That will be so annoying. So annoying if you're like 4%. Don't do it. Oh, perfect. Sweet. Right. So. I've got quite a few of the um, fire axe boxes, so may use that. Let's try the fire axes. So what happens then, guys? If I can get an axe, let's grab an axe first. And this this may make me rage if I can't do it straight away. But my idea is to rest it. Hold on. Let me pull it back down. I'm getting a bit closer. If I can do it. Seniac, you can do... Damn it. Seniac, you can't do it. You damn fool. You can't do it! This is going to be so annoying now. Okay, so... Turn. Turn. Okay. Damn it. Bring it up. Turn. <laughs> this is going to be so difficult. Let me zoom out a bit. Would it be easier to do it like this? Huh. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be so difficult now. Right, so turn around. Almost. Almost. Easy, easy. No. No. Hold on. Tilt it forward a bit. Damn, this is so hard because I can't back up because of that shelfing's in the way. Maybe I shouldn't have put the shelfing down so soon. I will do this. I will not be beaten on this. Oh, no. I nearly had it. Hang got Tilt forward. Huh, huh. Yes! I legit did it. And basically, I want a row of those going along the staircase. This is going to be hard. Okay, before I do that then, before I, I do the rest of the axes, I'm going to set up the boxes first then. So I want to create almost like a Jenga kind of display. So we'll place like... Uh, we'll do one there. Just to give you an idea of how these boxes are going to be displayed. It's going to be so cool, man. It's going to be cool. Cool. Right. Um, right, now is my OCD going to overtake me on this? I think it's gonna. Don't turn. Don't turn. Oh, it's not perfectly straight, but I'll go with it just for now. Just for now. <laughs> right in we go. Place this next box down. No. Probably don't want them touching. Mind rotate. There we go. 
It's going to be a nice design. I've actually got quite a few of these, haven't I? Hmm. So how many do I go over a row at the bottom? Maybe like a, a row of four? Is that going to be like the best idea? Easy. Easy. So wait. Nice. Right, so this is going to take some time, isn't it? All right, I'll try, I'll try a row of three. If I can get my words out. And then we'll see what that kind of looks like. If it looks really good, then we'll roll with the row of three. If not, because I'm going to stack it then in like um, like a Jenga block. Like they go that way, then they go that way. If that makes any sense to you guys, that's my logic. That's the logic of Seniac. Will it work? Who knows? Stick around and find out. <laughs> right, let's pick the box up. We're going to run back inside. Now, hopefully this is going to be the last box I place. In this row. Easy. Now, I'm not going to get them perfect, am I? It's as good as I can get them. And now I'm going to try it the opposite way around. So, just give you an idea of the logistics and how my brain is now functioning. Place it down. Okay, so. Uh, uh, like that. And then go and go. I can actually fit four across. That's pretty cool. How many have I got? Okay, right. We'll see what happens then. Right, let's, um, yeah. Because, yeah. We'll see you in just a moment when I've placed more boxes down. Yay! Okay, so we got a little bit further. I've kind of changed now how I want to display the axes because it was just near on impossible and very, very, more than anything, frustrating trying to get those axes to where I want them. So I think I'll just lie them on top. I think that's probably a better way to do it. Um, so I'll try I'll try a little bit more if I can, damn it, damn it. Try it now. Um, hang on, how many axes do I have? Let me just take this one first. I need to actually find out how many axes I actually have. So. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, so we've only got six shelves. Okay, okay. That should be interesting then. Actually, I don't think I'm going to be selling the end time axe just yet. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Right, get it on. Bam, sweet. I can fit in one more. And I have one more. Um, well, opened anyway. Uh, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. I need to make the actual pile of um, those fire axes there. A little bit higher. Sweet. So that's uh, my fire axes for sale. And I want to do the same on the opposite side then. Four. Hmm. I'm not actually sure which side to do it on. Let me just grab another box because I want to see um, how high I'm actually going to be making this um, this thing. So, if I could manage to fit in, easy now. Um, whoop, like that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. How many boxes have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, nine! Okay. Right, I'll put this last one down and then we'll move on to something else. We'll get that out of the way. So I'll place this one. Oops. Whoa. Do you know what actually I could do? Let me turn that a bit more. I could actually put stuff on this top layer here. Like maybe like some boxes or something like that. Or even other like stuff. I don't know. I don't know. So, um, right, we got the fire gifts up there. The smiley facey heads down there. On this side, um, what we got that we could potentially choose? We could actually do pumpkins. Yeah, I think pumpkin would be a good shout. Now, does this box fit on the bottom shelf? Now, if it doesn't, we have to put the pumpkins on the top shelf. So... It fits sideways, but let me turn it because I'm not too sure if the box is the same size all the way around. Hold on. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Now, is it? Oh, it is. 
Perfecto! Right, we have the pumpkins there then. And then maybe the top sh Oh, I've only got two of the um, scary spooky dookie pumpkins. Maybe the top shelf I put in the actual open pumpkins. And then the scary spooky dookie ones put on this corner. I'm thinking this corner shelf here is for like the really... Not rare stuff. Well, yeah, more rare stuff. Stuff that I have a little of. Uh, and has kind of doesn't kind of doesn't really have a place for the current uh, in the in the shop for its current you know status, like if I haven't got a lot of them or something like that. Uh, so bam, should wait. Let's see what a normal pumpkin looks like on top. Then let me just I'll turn it around when we get in there, because this is going to look kind of cool as well. Kind of cool, Saniac. You know it's going to look freaking dope. Right, I, I found it as well. It's easier. To get on top here. Alright, let's. Oh, oh, no! Damn it, I dropped it. And I'm back over the other side. <laughs> okay, so when I said I found it easier, apparently I don't. I don't find it easier. Right, let's try again. Let's jump up. Right, here we go, here we go, here we go. So turn it round, flip it over. Come on, little pumpkin. Find your feet. Damn it. Damn it. What is going on with this pumpkin? Right, place it. Ha ha. Sweet. Okay, I've got it. I've got it. St oh, damn it. I've got it still. Let's try and rotate it. Bring it up in the air. Easy. Easy. It's one key. That's probably the best I'm going to do. Those pumpkins are going to be a pain. They're going to be a pain to put up there. How many have I got as well? I've got quite a few. I've got quite a few boxes. So I may be able to fill the entire shelf. I just may be able to do that. Right, rotate the box. Damn it, box. Hoot, hoot. Nice. More boxes, please. Well, I also need to do, um, build the other shelves as well. So I, I think I've got enough wood. Obviously, the majority of the wood is going to get taken by actually building the staircases. Why have you got to be so awkward and just rotate normally, please? Pretty please. <laughs> Pretty please, god damn it. All right, jumping down. Let's get another pumpkin box. Never pumpkin. Pumpkin for days. Hut hut. No, not working. Man, I nearly had it then. There we go. I got it. Right, so we'll do this one more shelf now. And uh, then we'll build some some other stuff. So I've got these shelves to do down here, down here, and all the rest of these little staircases here. So let me just get the pumpkins done first, and then we'll move on to building the rest of the stuff. Yeah! The pumpkins are now on the wall. I haven't been able to use all of them. There's still two boxes left, which then eventually, everything that I can't fit in the store is eventually going to be in the little stock room here on the shelves and stuff when I get that set up. But it's looking really, really good. And the great thing about it as well, these, the actual pumpkins themselves, obviously, they give off, give off light. So we got a little bit of light in the store while it's now currently very, very dark. Okay, so I want to finish up the rest of these um, staircases here so I can get the remainder of all the axes in. So we've got the fire axes on this side. There'll be a different type of axe on this side and, you know, vice versa and everything else as well. So let's get some big pieces of wood then in this place. It's going to be big and beautiful. So I've still got other presents as well. I've got to do the um, the Red Bulls. I got the Red Bull boxes, and I think we got the Red Bull 
presence as well. Yes, we have. And obviously, again, these are for the smiley faces, which are sticks somewhere else. Um, or I don't know, because the, the more I think about it now, the more I kind of uh, want to have everything in its own little section. Like how we've got all the fire axe um, bucks. No, but it kind of won't work. So, nah. I think it's nice how it's all scattered. I think we have a nice little uh, kind of addition to it. Well, I shouldn't have put that one down because that was also a big piece. And now just when we built one, I could have uh, maximized uh, my actual margins there with the wood. We've got so much of this little kind of uh, chunky stuff here, which... I want us going to see how much this is going to be in terms of percentage for the actual staircase. I'll give me a rough idea for how many more trips I'm going to make for everything else. So, bam! It's over 50%, so it could be two pieces a staircase. If I can get something very similar. Now, I don't know if that's going to be very similar. Uh, this, could be very, this could be a lot smaller, to be honest. Let me see that piece. Let me see that piece. What is that? That's 45. E Oh, it'll be 99. But then again, can I? Oh, it actually worked. At 99%, it worked. So it must have been like 99 point some, well, something anyway. I don't know. I don't know. Right, let's throw this piece over. <clears throat> and then we're getting, we're actually getting somewhere then, guys. We're actually getting somewhere in this game. So this is a nice, big, chunky 48% piece. So we need something that's going to be over 50 Need a nice juicy chunk of uh, wood. Like this one. This is going to be too big. I won't use this one. I'll use it on the, another one. But this is going to be huge. The sky is green. Right, let's jump over. I'll place it over here. That's going to be a nice 72 piece. Nice. Uh, we'll grab another now. Now it's getting a bit lighter. We can actually see what we're grabbing. So this would um, actually finish up the uh, one of them now. This should be perfect. This should be over 50% to finish up. Bam! 97? You for real? Wait, don't put it there. Let's put it there instead. It's a 40. That's another 48% piece. What is going on? What is going on? <clears throat> right, so I'm running out of good pieces now. Some good chunky pieces. So it is pretty much uh, going to take me multiple trips now. So... We're going to have all the axes on this side, or on those staircases. And I'm thinking, what size is that? 80%, fair enough. Uh, we'll use this on this end piece here. Bam. So, axes all along here, looking good. We've got to use the, you know, the, the coal presence and the coal. I'll probably stick one of those on that section there. What else am I missing? Uh, oh, the red balls and stuff, which uh, probably go there. Um, but then again, I could probably use that whole front section for, I don't know. This is going to be a tough one now because I've got a lot of stuff with not minimal space, but for areas I want to place it in. It's going to be interesting to see where I put this. Uh, okay. So let's keep it going. More wood, please. All right. 48, 94. Are you for real? Are you for real in this place? That was a 45%. Damn. Damn, son. You're crazy! <laughs> right, let's see. Oh, that's a big piece here. This is a, If I've ever seen a big piece in my life, this is a nice chunky one. This should actually get it over. This should be over 50% this piece. I'm going to throw it down here. Zam! Yes! Right, we'll take this 48% one here and place it there. And I don't think I've got any big ones like that anymore. But then again, you're looking like a chunk. Guys, it did it again. I pick it up and it disappears. What's going on, Infonio? I want my wood back. You've seen this, guys, right? You've seen this. My wood is disappearing. My wood is disappearing. Right, so let me finish up this staircase then. And we get on to placing on some more axes. So let's do it. Well, bam <laughs> um, I've done all the stairs now and I put the alpha axes down. This is all the alpha axes I have, I believe. Yes, it is. The nose in a little Jenga format as well and I put them on the side there. Now, the reason I didn't make them overflow like I've done with the fire axes, you see kind of um, the boxes fill over both sides and we've still got loads more to put down. It's because I want to as well put the alpha axes on this side and their boxes just there. 
Not alpha axes, beta axes. I'm gonna get out. UFO! So what I've done is I've removed this window because it's easier for me to get in and out. Now, again, coming back up here, I'm gonna have the beta axes just there. The uh, shark axes probably in the middle there. And then the normal standard ones that I've got um, on those two sides there. Which should be all good. I need to get more wood in. Uh, more wood for um, the gifts. So let me build the... Um, what am I placing in now? The red balls. That's what I want to go for next. The red balls. Big red balls. Right, so that is 75%. We should get these done pretty quick because they, they basically want less wood. Uh, than the other stuff, so I, I could probably get away with using this chunk here. And um, so I'm not going to sure if I can actually place the actual balls themselves on on the um, shelves because they will just they don't have a flat surface, so they will like almost definitely 100% roll off. If I can get them on there, perfect. I don't know yet. I don't know. Right, so that is a nice. Um, we don't know what that size is. 65. Sweet. So just need a piece of that. So I can definitely get the boxes and the presents on there, which is going to be really cool. Still need to do the presents for the heads, which I'll place them on the other side anyway. So throw you in. Be out there, foul. It's so much easier now I've got rid of it. Oh, I haven't got rid of it. Now I've moved the, uh, whatchamacallit, the mafingy me about the window. Because I can get to the actual stuff in the shop a lot easier. And obviously I will pull it back. Don't worry. So that is a 40%. Damn! We need a nice 60% piece of wood. This could also take multiple trips. <clears throat> I've got to that point now where I've used all my big slices, my big chunks of the wood. Uh, that's going to bring me up to what? Come on, turn. Turn. There we go. Uh, 90 and 50. So I'm just down to the small pieces that I have left now. Which needs a nice little this piece here. This should do the job for that last one. Then we've got one more shelf to build. Shazam! That last shelf there. Then I can place in all the uh, the balls in there. The red balls. Beautiful. Which I don't know if you guys know as well. Every time you get a ball, it has a number on there. And if any of you have wondered what does that number mean, it's basically the number of, you know, the that's, that's the number of the ball that's been locked. So the first ever ball will have the number one. The tenth ever ball to be opened has the number ten on it. The one millionth ball has the number one million on it. It goes in order like that. So I'm going to check out one of the balls in a minute to see actually what numbers I have. Do I have any, like, rare ones? Can you imagine whoever has the um, ball one? Uh, imagine how much that's going to be worth and how much you could potentially sell it for. Or even any ball under the, the, you know, the 100. That would be kind of cool. Right. My last piece, then. I just want to say, it is kind of cool how the um, the axes just rest on there. Okay, so let's get this stuff in then. Presents on top, boxes on the bottom. Let's see how it's going to look. Um, probably the coolest thing about this is, I don't know. Oh, you can see the numbers now. Uh, 198,556. Um, uh, 217,000, oh my god. Anyway, the good thing about these boxes is, um, because it's a round circle on there, I don't think, don't think I need to spend much time in terms of having them rotated perfectly. Right, so we'll start from this end and work our way up. Straight from the window. Have that window display, yo. Do some window shopping. It's gonna be fancy. Super fancy. Right, there we go. Move it up. Move it up, move it up, move it up. Base trap. There we go. Not sure how many we can fit on. Uh, we'll also get the presents in there too. I don't know if I've got more presents or more boxes of balls. I don't know. That would be pretty interesting to see as well. Uh, I have noticed that there is... You can slightly see the number on the ball. And it does look like that one is upside down. But that's not going to bother me. That won't bother me. I hope it don't bother me. <coughs> I just want to get all this stuff in. So, let's do this. Let's place it all in. Let's make it super duper fast. Let's make it so looking so ridiculously cool. And then I want to get all the other axes in that I haven't got in yet as well. So, here we go, boys. Wait, before we do, let me just get a present on the top. I just want to see what the present looks like on top of the shelf. It's actually a small present as well. So, that could also get away with being um, 
on a, on a bottom shelf as well. That looks pretty nice. Let me zoom out a bit. That's going to look so cool in that corner. Beautiful. Right, let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Let's go. Right, so I'm now placing in all the beta boxes. Um, I've got the kind of shelf all set up now for the axes, and they're, they're on there. I've also done all the red balls as well, and, the, and that kind of the gifts. Hold on, hold on. So they're all the beta axes that we simply got at the moment. Only four of them unboxed. And here's the shelf with the Red Bull boxes and the Red Bull gifts looking really, really good. It's starting to come along like a real shop. We slowly get in there. I haven't put the Red Bulls on. There's still a few little gifts that we uh, we can't quite fit on. But again, everything goes into storage for what we can't fit on the shelves anyway. So that little section in front of me there where we still need to build the shelves of that, that's going to be probably for the, uh, the lumps of coal and the boxes of coal that you can get. So everywhere is going to have a place. Bam, there we go. So, so you see here the, the, then the coal there and the gifts and stuff there. So it's, it's coming along, it's coming along quite nice. Slowly but surely we are getting there. We still need to find room for the actual um, head um, gift things. Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. The more I think of it now, maybe I remove those fire gifts there and place them along the top. That could be a good idea. It kind of annoys me now that I've got this far and only just thought of it. But, yeah. We're plodding along. It's only what, taking me an hour and 10 minutes so far to get to this point. God damn right, it! So as the sun starts to set again now, I've managed to get all the uh, coal in. It looks kind of really cool as well. There's a few more things I've done. I've got all the axes in, as you can now see, looking beautiful. I switched up the um, the fiery stuff, the fire presents, which turn into fire axe boxes, which then turn into fire axes. Put them in the middle. I thought it gives a little bit more um, of a feel to it as a proper shop. Uh, put the smiley heads at the top, and then the smiley heads I left had open. I put them on the bottom shelf. I think it's a nice little touch. Uh, I've got one fire present there, which I can't really stick anywhere. So I've just kind of left it on the side of the counter just like that. I'll probably do the same with a few of these as well. Now, I've got a, a whole shelf over there with nothing on it. So I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with it. Um, again, there's, there's so much stuff I can actually, you know, try and to sell. I think it's going to be nice as a presence on the side there. Uh, but is this coming all down to what am I going to choose to sell? So really, everything that you can see now that's left on the floor, the few little boxes of coal, the pump. Oh, these ones. There we go. I knew I had something uh, pick it up full that I um, wanted to place on that back wall. I've only got two of them, so it's not really going to fill it up. But it's just there anyway, isn't it? Uh, right, rotate. There we go. You should be able to go on that shelf. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Right, put them on, I'll start from this end here. There we go. Jump over. Skills. Emoji of skills. Right, let's check this box out. Let's pick it up. Cricket's going this way, wouldn't it? Yep. It is. It's so handy that I took down the window. I need to put that back in a minute as well. Right, see, see if we can get this in without me wrote. Okay, I'm not going to get it in. Bam, 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 bam. You're now the wrong way round. Oh no, I said oh no, I nearly had you then, there you go, right, sweet, bring it up, sweet, so we got the two um, spooky dookie Halloween pumpkins in there, looking really good and fantastic, so we still got a load of fire axes that I need to bring in and stack up there, but I'll do that another time, there's no need to worry about that, but yeah, my shop is now pretty much set up, I'm going to get the window and place it back in, because it looks a bit weird, right, easy, is it the right way around? No, gotta rotate it. What am I stuck on? Why can I not jump? There we go. Okay, well, let me jump over because it's being a damn fool. Right, rotate. Let me jump in. It'll be easier to do it this way. So he says. Right, come on. Come on. How the, did I, I didn't the outside last time, didn't I? Yes. I've just legit rotated you. How dare you? How dare you not go in? Wait, is that? No, it's not in. I just rotated you. Rotate. There we go. Is it high? Oh, damn, now it's higher. <laughs> B 
Bam, there we go. Sweet, good stuff. So right, let's get in there then. Let's close the doors first. Let's run in there. Let's take a, a little shop tour now. I need to get some lights for this place as well to make it nice and bright in here. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Close the doors. I say close the door. There, it would help if I was a little bit closer. Close the door. Right, sweet, 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 sweet. We got a little bit of a glow from the pumpkins. Looks good. So a customer comes in then. They walk in. They're greeted with all the axes in the middle shelf here. You know, the uh, piece de resistance to the whole um, shop. This is what you. This is what people buy the most anyways, axes. But we got some coal on the side there. We got some red balls on that side. Some average just normal pumpkins on that side. And some smiley. I like how this smell. There's a gap here. I've left the gaps on purpose now because it's like little walkways in between each aisle. We got some smiley faces looking good. Over there, we got the uh, Spooky Dookie Halloween Edition pumpkins and some presents on the side. And Seniac. Well, oh, damn it, damn it. Hold on. Is standing at the till, ready to serve anybody. Oh, there's some scary pumpkins in the background. <laughs> I forgot I put those up there. I legit forgot. But there we go. This is pretty much my shop. There's still a few things I could probably put in there. I got like conveyor supports. I don't know whether to sell any of that stuff. I just think it would be a bit pointless. But pretty much. We have it now all set up. Seniac Shop is open for business. So if you see me on the server, guys, you can legit come and buy some stuff off me. The prices may vary. They may go up and down, depending on how generous I feel on the day. Or I could just say they're like a million pound each. A million pound for a piece of coal. You just never know. <laughs> I'm only joking, guys. I'll make the prices fair and reasonable uh, and cheap and affordable. So everybody can actually... You know, buy something from me. It's going to be pretty, pretty cool. But let, you know, let me know what you guys think of my store then. I again, it's still not finished. I got to, you know, do the rest of the walls. Then put a roof on it. And I've been thinking as well about doing like a big neon sign. A flashing neon sign that says shop open. I turn it on only when I'm selling. And then when I'm not working there, I turn it off when I'm doing other stuff like chopping wood. Man, all these ideas. It's going to be so freaking cool. So I think we're going to call it for there, guys. A lot of stuff got done today. Pretty long episode. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe. And until next time, I will see you all soon. So goodbye. As you can probably tell, it's very windy, very loud. Well, I'm now on the bridge. Take a look at these views, man, and enjoy them. Oh my God. Here we go, guys. Let me stop. I'm pushing my bike. Look at that from the bridge. You can see Alcatraz. There's downtown San Francisco. Oh my goodness. I'll zoom back out. And then just walking across.